My name's Indigo, I'm a Year 12 student and I do legal studies, English advanced, visual arts, music and modern history. Um, well, I think I just really wanted like a, a creative environment. I was at a school which really loved sport and things. I'm not really sporty. So I really wanted to be around people who loved music and art. You know, I just saw things that we could do here, like, you know, soundproof music rooms were really cool for me. The idea of, you know, going there whenever I wanted was really pretty awesome. And, you know, the flexibility of going down to, you know, paint whatever I wanted with other people who do the exact same like me. Um, and, you know, have an artistic eye. I really loved that. They taught her how to lie. I definitely think Vivid was pretty awesome. I met my best friend with Vivid, you know, we um, wrote heaps of songs together and I don't think, I hadn't written any songs with anybody before. I hadn't been really that close to someone to write songs and, you know, be so open and vulnerable like that. It was a real big moment for my artistic abilities to trust somebody like that to, you know, build something together and, you know, ask for input artistically. It was a really, really cool experience to, you know, then perform that to everybody and, you know, show how much um, we loved that product at the end of the day. The work placement was really great. I loved my work placement. I got to do like Studio 301, so that was really, really cool. I, I really liked the flexibility, but I think at the end of the day, I, you know, for me personally, I like a little bit of structure. I felt like I got a bit lost in like, you know, the flexible time. It was a little bit hard to navigate at first. Like I had to motivate myself, which is, you know, still a good thing in a way, you know, it builds your motivation. Yeah, it's a plus and it's a, you know, it's, a, it's however you pick it up, I guess. I want to do like a double degree in fine arts and law. I really love law. I love law a lot. I didn't want to drop the art part. So um, I wanted to see if I could, you know, go into music law or art law or something like that. I've got an idea of what I love, but I'm just uh, letting it, I'm not as strict on it or I'm not as like hyper fixated and I'm just kind of like enjoying what I love and letting, you know, following the things that I love. I like the library and I love the music room. Like I, I love the, I really do, you know, I can just go to town and nobody can hear me. Music, I mean, I've got like four performance tasks. So yeah, I think the body of works have been like really big in terms of like long term, because I've had to put in the time and effort, you know, really get uh, my teachers and input and everything, um, build my whole concept and make a good product at the end. I mean, they're going pretty well so far, you know. We have to accept criticism and it's not easy. Um, and so that's been a really big part about how I have a process now, you know, like I find it's better for me to accept that criticism. You know, I like it more because it makes it a lot easier to see the quality of a product. So I, you know, I, um, I don't have to just think about my insight and, you know, I can see how everybody else sees it too.